Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous 80 something degree day here in February in the former paradise of the banks of the Oklawaha River where it comes out of this goddamn dam that they're talking about yanking out of here and returning the river back to its former course. Let's wish them luck that it is Friday, February 8th, 2019, and I'm going to take a break in chronicling the collapse of Florida's ecosystems to bring you this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant. I just finished part one where we went over to mongabay.com to... Uh, for their coverage of the various ways this planet's heading into a brick wall at 67,000 miles an hour. And here will be a quick roundup from Washington Post and the Center for Biological Diversity here in part two. So we're going to start off with those eco-Nazis over at the Washington Post. Today's Earth looks a lot like it did 115,000 years ago. All we are missing is massive sea level rise. New research shows the planet is already paralleling the most recent major warm period in its past. Now the only question is, how fast Antarctica could collapse. I love it. The Washington Post, now the only question is how fast Antarctica could collapse. You would not have seen that headline in the Washington Post a year ago. Good for right here in the good old state of Florida. Good for Key West banning a popular sunscreen to help keep it's Carl alive. Uh-huh. Okay, this is how little Miss Pris Ocasio-Cortez is going to save the planet with the new Green Deal. Yes, the new Green Deal. And the Democrats are here to save the planet. And I think they're starting some climate talks. Okay, I've mentioned this one already this week, but I guess it bears repeating. Wildfires, hurricanes, and other extreme weather cost the nation 247 lives and nearly $100 billion in damage during 2018. Hmm. Experts say that climate change might already be fueling an increase in the number of billion dollar disasters. Okay, we've already heard that Donald Trump did not mention the word climate in his State of the Union address, but also nowhere mentioned out of his mouth in 82 minutes was the word coal. Where was the word coal? It's usually one of his favorite talking points. This one was a real tough one to predict. Trump to nominate David Bernhardt, a former lobbyist, as the next Interior Secretary. Bernhardt is a former lobbyist who has helped orchestrate the Trump administration's push to expand oil and gas drilling as the Interior Department's number two official, and now he will be the number one promoter of Donald Trump's push to expand oil and gas drilling on our public lands. Uh, climate change will alter the color of the oceans. I think the new color will be kind of like a diarrhea brown. Yes. What's going on over at the EPA? EPA adds researcher who calls climate science murky to key advisory board and the polar vortex blasts onward. 
and I already had this as one of my We Are So Fucked headline. Was it my We Are So Fucked headline or was it Collapse Chronicles? I can't remember to wind up the Washington Post this week. Uh, California has a weird new desert in the Pacific Ocean. A colorful sea star has vanished from the Pacific Ocean off California and Oregon and its nemesis, a voracious kelp-eating urchin, has run amok and the consequences for the area's marine ecology and California's fishery have been cata strophic and you can take a wild guess which button I push as I say somewhere on here you can find that full story from a few days ago but we're gonna head over now to Center for Biological Diversity's Endangered Earth Roundup for the week asking the question how do we curb the insect apocalypse Huh. If we are serious about stemming the catastrophic decline of insects, we must drastically reduce our pesticide use. Hmm, do you think so? Uh, that's one of the key findings of a major new scientific study in biological conservation. More than 40% more than 40% of insects worldwide are on a fast track to extinction. There you go. Uh, said Tara Cornelis, an entomologist at the center, quote, insects are the foundation of every healthy ecosystem. We need to quit poisoning landscapes with millions of pounds of toxic pesticides every year. Okay, Sancho Panza was very interested in this story. Lawsuit launched to expand habitat for rare squirrels. Yes, this is the newest lawsuit against the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to expand critical habitat for Arizona's highly endangered Mount Graham Red Squirrel. Only about 75 are left on Earth. But of course, the squirrels no longer live in the area designated as their critical habitat because it has been destroyed by the construction of mountain telescopes, wildfires, and fires set to protect the telescopes. There you go. Uh, from squirrels to pine martens, suit filed to save martens in California. Okay, this is the Humboldt uh, Martin, although California declared these forest mammals endangered after another center lawsuit, uh, it is about to let the Green Diamond Timber Company raise their habitat, R-A-Z-E. Fewer than 200 of these furry, ferocious creatures are left in the state, and clear-cutting is the biggest threat to their survival. Did you know that this move, according to the center's Tierra Curry, quote, this move pushes Humboldt Martins toward extinction instead of increasing protection for these feisty little fur balls. This is uh, their latest story on uh, Trump's plan to drill the Arctic refuge. If you've uh, missed it so far, this is their latest essay. Maybe I will make this a one of my We Are So Fucked headlines or something. The iconic Arctic National Wildlife Refuge is home to the massive porcupine caribou herd and scores of other species. 
uh, blah, blah, blah. But President Donald Trump is determined to turn the gem of the far north into an oil field. In the name of corporate profits, he is steamrolling over passionate public support for the refuge. But we're going to wind up part two of this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant with the astonishing headline, Rapid U.S. Population Growth Comes at a High Cost to Wildlife. Hmm. According to new U.S. Census Bureau estimates, more than 328 million people rang in the new year in the United States that is an increase of more than 2 million people over last year, and it is taking a toll on wildlife and wild places. Can we hear the no shit Sherlock button firing off? But I am sitting here sweating in the hot afternoon sun. So I'm going to turn around and put my back to the sun and bring you today's uh, Collapse Chronicle uh, Climate in Action Denial or Design. But you'll have to uh, come over to Collapse Chronicles to hear that because I am collapsing in the February heat. Smoke them if you got them. And we all know why. Bye, guys.